Hi, I'm Sebastian, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you what you can do with the new expression um, feature that we've added in SoundPRISM uh, Pro 1.4. This video, along with many other tutorial videos for SoundPRISM, can be found on soundprismhowto.com. Please check it out if you want to find out more. With this new feature in SoundPRISM Pro, you are now able to use the accelerometer um, um, feature of your iPhone, iPod Touch or uh, iPad as an input device for a MIDI control change event or MIDI CC events. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate what this means uh, in a quick example. To configure and calibrate um, this new feature, um, please make sure that MIDI is enabled in SoundPRISM Pro. Then go back to the main menu and choose Expression Settings. Then scroll down to the Accelerometer section and turn on the axis that you would like to configure. I'm going to start with the X axis. Then tap on Configure and define the position for the minimum and the maximum value. You can do the same with the Y axis and uh, you can use both axes at the same time or you can use them individually. You're free to control any of the 128 MIDI CC channels this way or you can control MIDI velocity. Also, you can limit the range of values that are sent out on that MIDI CC channel, which is useful, for example, for MIDI velocity. Here I am controlling a flute in GarageBand using MIDI velocity on the X axis and pan or MIDI CC channel 10 on the Y axis to control pan. Finally, I would like to demonstrate how to use the expression feature with Ableton Live. For this, I am clicking on the MIDI Mappings button in the top right of the screen. Then Ableton Live uh, switches into MIDI Learn mode. And then I am clicking on the parameter of the instrument that I would like to control with uh, the Sound Prism expression feature. As soon as the iOS device is moved, it sends out data on the MIDI CC channel. Ableton Live recognizes that and assigns uh, these messages to the um, instrument's parameter that I've just clicked. After that, I'm disabling MIDI mapping mode and uh, trying out the, uh, to see if I like the result. And after that, I'm adding another axis uh, and I'm mapping it to another parameter of the instrument. Note that I'm turning off uh, both axes before going back into MIDI learning mode, otherwise Ableton might get confused. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching 
and if you have any questions, please go to soundprismhowto.com or contact us on Facebook or Twitter. Bye.